Hi, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm participating in 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 16. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I am playing along with Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches today. So if you are here from Christie's playlist, uh, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here, and thank you for watching. So let's just jump right into it. So today's sketch is by Kim Martin. Um, I couldn't find anywhere to link to Kim online, so I just put her name in the description box. So thank you, Kim, for your inspiration. Um, I'm having fun with the sketch. So for this um, group of photos that I chose, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this as two separate layouts or one combined layout. So this sketch actually was pretty perfect for that. So. The way that I'm putting this layout together, I could use it as a combined layout or I could um, separate it into my album and it'll work as two separate layouts. So either way, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> but I'm going to build it as one layout today on camera. Um, let's get going. So this background paper, I don't know if you can see it online, probably not because it's super subtle, but it does have, it's a card stock, but it has like really like subtle tone on tone spider webs that, on it, which I love. And it was the perfect background for this, these, this weird like place that we went to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we pulled out this witch hazel collection from October afternoon. And I'm not sure what this is and I want to see. So let's pull it down. Oh, I know what it is. It's this. Okay, set that aside. And I've used a lot of the papers from this, so that's fun. And then I'm just going to tuck this back in here if I need it. But, so yes, this one again, I still have quite a few of the alphas. I also have these labels if I need them. And some of them I have added, um, I have like a rub-on sheet. And so I just, instead of letting it, um, go to waste because it was getting to where it was like sticking to the packaging and stuff. I did add it to some of the labels and stuff in the hopes that it would get used that way. So when you see that, that's what I did. It didn't come like that. And then this was in there. And then I also had an extra sheet of these stickers. So I do have almost, is this one still full? Yes, it is. And then this one. So, and then, oh, I don't know what that's from, but it's garbage. And another piece of that, I don't know what that's from. Hey. I also have this little guy. I have these, I have this, this is out as well. Um, this was with it. I have these guys out with it. And then I pulled some alien stuff we'll talk about in a minute and then some journaling stuff and then I grabbed some doily pieces. So that is what I have out for embellishing today and we are going to go ahead and do that. So let's start with some journaling. Okay, So I did go ahead and pre-print my journaling and like I said I kind of had two stories to tell so I did print both stories on here and these can sit side by side in my album or they can be separated if need be whatever depends how the other layouts line up I think in the end sometimes I have room for a double page or sometimes I will need some single pages in there depending on what the other ones are like so it will work out either way I'm sure Kind of like to have that flexibility sometimes of like it'll be nice side by side or it might be fine if I separate it so that if I do need um, some room for some single pagers then I can do that too and I just grabbed this like cream colored cardstock that match with that music note paper from the witch hazel collection and uh, went with that and just ran that it was an eight and a half by eleven sheet to run it through my printer and then typed up my next journaling, measured it the way I wanted it, and then printed it on the same paper, but turned it upside down so that 
I had the space I needed. Okay, so here we go. So there's that. Those are my two journaling pieces. Um, let me see. I what did I do with this sketch? So this side, the way that I read this sketch, it had this piece of patterned paper across the center on this side and then one across the bottom on this side. So I did that, but I used, this looked like two different patterns, but I used the same pattern on mine. Just get back in such a hard time staying in frame with these double pagers. Okay. And then I added this, um, stripe strip just to add a little bit of continuity across either way whether it stays in the page or not it I felt like it gave a place for my photos to sit so that worked out for me either way and then I um, instead of doing this single photo here I had I put two photos because I could have done just the photo here because that's what my story is about but I had this extra photo from that same place and I and it had the ad for the alien autopsy in the background so I just put it in the in the layout instead of making a whole second layout for this picture because I didn't really have a story to tell with that one. It was just funny. So I just added it in and then um, made the photo mat big enough for both of them. This one was a bit on an angle. This um, photo mat is all straight, but I did angle my photos a little to like inspired by this and then she has an embellishment cluster here so i started an embellishment cluster here this little it's like a doily i guess it came i think in a doily swap from ginger's corner if you haven't been to ginger's corner go check her out on facebook they do swaps there mostly of embellishments and sometimes different things so this one was specifically just for doilies and this one looks like it was made from some sort of dye and uh it was on this cream newsprint paper which went really well with the uh, music note paper so um, I must have thrown it in here because it kind of coordinated so I thought I'm going to use that as like a cluster base so I put one I sliced it in half put one half here and one half over here and then here it had two um, angled photos so I took that photo mat idea and brought it over here as well um, she didn't do the photo mat on this side, but I decided I was going to bring that same idea onto this side of the um, page. So then I just did that and then I angled these photos as well, just a little bit. And that is where I started. And then I, um, there was no like stated spot on the sketch for like where the title goes. So I just put my titles in the same place on both sides, just under my photos. Um, this one is auditorium photo ops and this one says vampire hunting because those are the two stories I wanted to tell. Um, what else? I think that's it. Okay, so this, we'll talk about this side first. So this side, I told the story. It just says, there were so many funny Odo, Odo Fops. Wow, words are hard guys. There were so many funny photo ops in this place, but perhaps the most elaborate was the alien autopsy. Who hasn't heard the stories of people that believed they were abducted by extraterrestrials and experimented on and then returned to Earth? Aiden was a good sport for this immersive experience. So my son put his face up into the alien autopsy and this was like a huge elaborate photo op area. I thought it was quite the thing. So. We uh, took a little picture there, and then this guy was just, like I said, he's standing in front of, like, what looks like a poster for alien autopsies, so I added him there. So this is the patterned paper I'm going to use to map my photo, or not my photo, my journaling. All the right colors. And it's already a scrap so let me just see this is about one and a quarter by a 
seven and a half, one and a quarter by seven and a half. So I'm going to do one and three quarters. Seven and three quarters and that should knot it really nicely and then I am inking everything again in that black soot distress ink pretty much while I was at the retreat this ink just sat on my table and I inked all the things every once in a while I switched it up but mostly this was the one I was using and it looks like I might need to change my sponge soon it's starting to come apart a bit it is a favorite of mine, so it does tend to need to be changed out more than the others do. Because those papers, have you ever gotten a paper cut before? Yes, most people have. So if the paper is going to cut your fingers when you run your finger along it, and then you're going to run that same paper along your sponge over and over and over again chances are it's going to tear up that sponge at some point right so that's why it needs to be replaced every once in a while so it's not a manufacturing flaw it's the nature of paper so i'm just going to trim a little bit more of that off so that it kind of looks balanced to the eye for my own liking, personal preference. There was nothing wrong with it before, I just like it better that way. So I've also kind of been following along with the um, Canada's Big Landmarks uh, event, and I will link her below as well it's been really fun but I didn't find anything that I wanted to add for this one I was traveling yesterday and I'm kind of tired today so okay so that barely fits on there I clearly did not measure well for that particular piece of journaling for that tag but I'm just gonna roll with it it'll be fine nobody's gonna judge and that'll get my journaling on there. And then I'm going to stamp a date somewhere here. All right. So as you can see, I pre-punched a uh, eyelet in there with a crocodile for a little tag hole. And then I'm just going to add my twine into there. There we go. So there's my journaling. All right. So for my date, I'm going to use this little tab piece. And I'm just going to trim because it has like a perforated edge because I think it's meant to be like folded over. But I like to use these. So I'm going to use it twice instead of folding it over. And I'm just going to add a little extra glue to make sure it stays because these are over 10 years old. Oh, weird okay so then I have my date there we go so the date is stamped we have our journaling title photos all we need is a little bit of embellishing so I did pull something a little extra for this side of the layout I pulled these from Crafters Square. I think these are just from like Dollar Tree or something like that. And at first glance, they don't really look like they would go with um, like this because this is the collection I'm using. But it does fit with my theme. And because some of this is going to fit with my um, theme, I do notice that the colors are actually going to go on the pieces that I will pull. So I do want this little alien guy because he does have, represent similar to these guys. So I think I'm going to put him up here and that brings that same color from my title up to this. And then I do want um, 
this guy as well. And I think I'm going to put him here. And then there's this moon piece also, but I don't know in the end if I'm actually going to use that, but it would go right because it's got the right kind of like creamy color. But in the end, I don't think that it's necessarily going to be needed. And then I also pulled this. This is old. I think this is from K and Company from a really long time ago from a kid's collection. And I do really like what it says and like, I think it fits the theme of the layout really well. So maybe I will put it here. I'm just going to maybe leave it there for a minute and see if I still like it. Cause I could always add something right here just to fill in that like dead space. So let's leave that for a second. Okay. And I'm just going to put these off to the side. And then I'm going to pull my sticker sheet and see if there's anything off of here that I want. Um, how about for this side? What do I need? I need something that's like kind of, um, maybe this poison piece, but it's that red color. That's not really anywhere else, but it is in my stripe strip. So I think I could probably get away with it. Here. And then I feel like these would go really nicely because they're in our patterned paper. So I could tuck one in up here. And they're not like Halloween themed, but vampires make me think like almost like mm, royal or wealthy English. I don't know why. Why is that? Why do the, why do we think that? Why does that connect? I don't know. Anyway, fancy wallpaper fits with mansions, I guess. Weird. Weird that I would make that connection. Okay, and then a star would work. I don't like that. This would have been good too for our date. Ooh, a bat. Bats go with vampires for sure. Yes, they do. That's perfect. Okay, so we got that. What do we have here? Anything on this one? I have two of the same sheet. I'm not sure why. I got this collection secondhand, so that must be it, or else I already had a piece of it and then added to it. I don't really see anything that like jumps out at me. Okay, and maybe this, but without the happy Halloween part, maybe under this guy. And then this, I might as well do that as well. And this has like this foam adhesive, but it feels a little bit, little bit two dimensional because the, um, there's also dimension in between like the two layers of it. So I'm going to take that off. See that? See how it has like a couple layers there already. So we're just going to take that part off. There we go. I like that. Okay. So there we go. And I do like this here. So I do think I'm going to add it. And this is surprisingly still quite tacky. So I'm just going to ink the edges and put it down. And then I'm going to put, I think another one of those, I'm going to have to go grab it, but I'm going to put another one of those, um, across. go so I can come down a little bit maybe there. 
and that just brought this over here in case I do put them together. Um, what else? I don't know. I do have these bats also that I could put on my vampire layout. about good okay so for finishing touches I'm going to add these Alta new enamel dots they're called seashore and I feel like these ones go really well with the alphas that I chose so I think they'll go well with my layout so I'll just put three in each little bitty cluster So I just need to stick this tag down with my journaling on it. And I think that's it for my layout today. So thank you so much to everyone who is hanging out with me today. I really appreciate you being here. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I do love hearing from you guys. So if you have something to say, please uh, type it in those comments. And I will get back to you just as soon as I can. Um, have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.